Gates Corporation is the world's leading provider of hydraulic hose solutions. We are committed to bringing you a level of quality and exacting standards that surpasses those found anywhere in the industry. But in addition to performance, we're also committed to your safety. That's why we developed the Gates Lifeguard Line of Sight Sleeving System, made specifically for Gates hoses. This presentation is designed to guide you through the installation, care, and use of Gates Lifeguard Sleeving System. So let's get started. When working with any hydraulic hose, whether it has a lifeguard sleeve or not, there are a couple of safety precautions to keep in mind. Never run your hand over the assembly looking for leaks. If a leak is noticed, stop the equipment at once and replace the entire assembly. The proper installation of the Gates lifeguard sleeve is important because it allows the system to work as it was intended and still protect the operator in the event of pinhole leaks or catastrophic failure. The Gates lifeguard sleeve is not intended for use as a backup for equipment operation. To begin the assembly of the lifeguard sleeve, you must first determine the proper length. This information can be found in the Gates assembly specification. Next, you'll need to route the sleeve through the guide table. It's important to use the guide table because it opens up the sleeve and holds it in the correct position for cutting and sealing of the sleeve in one step using a hot knife. Also, be sure to use the proper safety equipment, safety glasses and gloves, when using the hot knife. The hot knife melts the white lining of the sleeve to the black skin of the sleeve, providing the proper opening for hose insertion. Once you have the sleeve in proper position, cut it with the hot knife, making sure the cut is straight. An alternative to cutting the sleeve with a hot knife is cutting it with scissors and cauterizing it with a torch. Again, use the Gates assembly specification to establish the proper length. Next, making sure the cut is straight Cut the sleeve with sharp scissors. Now, cauterize the sleeve with a torch, making sure that the white lining is sealed to the black skin of the sleeve. Failure to do this will weaken the sleeve, limiting its ability to provide proper protection. Here is an example of a properly sealed sleeve versus one that has not been properly sealed. Again, a proper cauterized seal is imperative to the proper function of the lifeguard sleeve. Now that you have the sleeve cut to the proper length, you're ready to crimp it. If you're crimping it onto an already crimped hose, the following steps need to be taken. First, only use Gates hoses and couplings with the lifeguard sleeving system. Mixing and matching could affect the proper function of the system. Next, be sure that the hose assembly is properly crimped before inserting the hose into the sleeve. Using the Gates specially designed lifeguard die, crimp one end of the hose. Remember, when installing Gates lifeguard dies, the die finger numbering must be clockwise from one through eight, and the colored visual aid line must be uninterrupted. Now roll or twist the assembly to bring the other end into alignment, and crimp that end. Your hydraulic hose and lifeguard sleeving system are now ready for use. Now if you're crimping the lifeguard sleeve onto an uncrimped hose assembly, here are the steps you need to follow. Use a hose bullet and push the hose through the sleeve, making sure not to snag the hose on the sleeve while pushing it through. Now crimp the couplings onto the hose one at a time. Be sure to use only Gates certified collars. Do not use ties, pinch ears, or clamps, as these will have a negative effect on the performance of the sleeve. Now crimp one collar, roll or twist the assembly to bring the other end into alignment, and crimp the other collar, and you're ready to go. Now before you get out there and get to work, here are a couple of final precautions. The lifeguard sleeving system is not designed as an abrasion guard. Be sure to avoid sharp edges and abrasive contact with the sleeve. Don't expose the sleeve to sources of direct heat with an ambient temperature above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. If there is any visible damage, such as fraying, wear, tears, 
cracked collars, or the sleeve tearing loose from the collar, the sleeve needs to be replaced. Also, if you see any visible oil saturation on the sleeve, replace both the sleeve and the hose immediately. Do not bundle multiple hoses within one lifeguard sleeve, as this will have a negative impact on the sleeve's performance. On behalf of everyone at Gates, thanks for taking the time to understand the Gates Lifeguard Sleeving System. And thank you for choosing Gates.